It's lights out and away we go. Hamilton then gets away well. Verstappen off the line well. And he's already wheel to wheel with Valtteri Bottas. And uh, there is Alex Albon on the inside of Bottas as well. And Perez coming up on the inside of Verstappen who is now in second place. Hamilton, Verstappen, Perez, then Albon and Ricardo. Bottas has lost four places already as they file their way through. And Lance Stroll going off the track already. And that is that damage for Lando Norris. That's certainly damage. And a big fire there as they exited out of turn three and that looks very nasty indeed and unsurprisingly that is a red flag that has been put out by race control already that was horrendous as the car went into the barrier just at the bottom of your screen Lance Stroll uh, goes uh, wide now this is after turn three and you see Grosjean uh, one car out there and then Grosjean to the right hand side just going My straight God, that, the car's the broken car in half, half. No wonder the fuel came out of it. Yeah. I said the fuel was in the middle of the car, and it's literally... Whoa! That's extraordinary. The car... It's gone through the barrier, you see. The car's gone through the barrier, and that's then been sort of used as a wrench, as it were, to literally rip the car in half. And uh, there we can uh, see so Roman. So Roman's getting himself... Yeah, he was in the flames for a long time, wasn't he? Absolutely. Getting himself out. Jumping as fast as he can. Uh, over the uh, the barrier. There were three people on the other side of the barrier who have all had a bit of a lucky escape, I think, there. That's, that's a miracle. I have not seen a car like that in my time commentating on Formula One. I've never seen a Formula One car do that. And that that's brilliant. A round of applause as these uh, images are being shown in the pit lane. Lights out. And away we go. And for the second time, Hamilton gets away well. And for the second time, the guy in third has made a very good start. This time it's Sergio Perez and Max Verstappen on the inside has Perez for company. As Verstappen slips past the racing point. Valtteri Bottas will now put Perez under pressure. Alex Albon ahead of Lando Norris, who started well. Daniel Ricciardo has dropped back just a little bit. He's lost quite a few places, actually. As now on the inside, Valtteri Bottas has a look at Sergio Perez, thinks better of it. Albon now round the outside of the Mercedes as Hamilton leads them down the hill ahead of Max Verstappen then comes Perez and Bottas gets past Alex Albon behind Alex Albon comes Lando Norris Esteban Ocon Pierre Gasly's just been overtaken by Charles Leclerc Daniel Ricciardo is 10th yeah it didn't work out well for Ricciardo uh, Albon fancied a run around the outside of the Mercedes Bottas was having none of it but we have got an incident at the back there in turn eight we've got a spinner and Lance Stroll I think is involved and now we've got a safety car so Lance was Behind a little science. bit under pressure there from science. He's turned in. Turned in. Uh, and then, then yeah. Crunch. Well, wow, Dr. Ian Roberts, what a busy man he has been in the opening stages of this Bahrain Grand Prix on hands and the fire extinguishers just keeping uh, uh, those parts that are overheating a little bit cooler. Valtteri Bottas has got a puncture. Yeah, they've just been on the radio and they've told Lewis Bottas is coming in. He's got a puncture. They've told them to stay as close. Obviously, the car's in front, but I don't know where he's picked that up. Lewis Hamilton then leads them over the line to start lap nine. Max Verstappen looking in his mirrors to see where Sergio Perez is. Alex Albon looking to see where Lando Norris is as well. And there's Charles Leclerc down the inside of Esteban Ocon into turn one. The Ferrari pushes the Renault wide, but Ocon is having none of that. Gets out his oversized elbows and reclaims that place. They're now going wheel to wheel towards turn four. That's Kriat and that's uh, Leclerc uh, and Gasly, I should say, uh, almost swapping places into turn four. Hamilton Hamilton leads them down the hill from Verstappen, from Perez, then comes Albon, Norris, and Ocon still ahead of Leclerc. Maybe he's just got it in a horrible zone with the weight of the car, the tyre pressures. Oh, this is going to be good. Carlos Sainz down the inside of Charles Leclerc. How about that at high speed into turn one? The McLaren is past the Ferrari. Oh, and Carlos Sainz moves up into seventh place. And there's a little marker for next year when they're teammates. <laughs> It's so close in terms of points in the championship and it's giving us some great entertainment as down the inside goes Pierre Gasly on Charles Leclerc and that Ferrari might start to be struggling on its tyres somewhat. It does tend to overwork its tyres a little bit and maybe they're getting a bit hot here in the desert. Daniel Kvyat, Martin, has got a penalty. Yep, the stewards have decided it was his fault, all his fault. Here comes Carlos Sainz on this demand. Ocon down the main straight. Ocon moves to the inside to try and cover it. Carlos Sainz just says, I'll, I'll, I'll break a bit later, I think. Go around the outside, pinch the inside line for turn two. I'm going to get past you. Ocon tried to make it hard, and Carlos Sainz was having none of it. 
No team orders here. Ricardo's going to go for it, though. Ocon moves to the inside once again to try and defend. Defends quite nicely. He got uh, very punchy earlier in the race against Charles Leclerc to Esteban Ocon. That was brilliant to see. Now, though, he's under pressure once again. DRS assisted. Daniel Ricciardo's coming at him into turn four and manages to move past his teammate. Oh, is that smoke? Oh, is that Perez. Sergio Perez? Perez never finished on the podium in consecutive races. And what a time for Alex Albon to inherit third place in a race for his second podium in Formula One. What does this, though, mean for the Constructors' Championship? Switch and it off, Sergio Switch Perez, it off. yeah. Switch it off. Switch it off. <laughs> and someone get a fire extinguisher near that car. It's been a very long race. Lewis Hamilton has come through to win the Bahrain Grand Prix once more. And Red Bull, with second and third, get both drivers on the podium. Verstappen and Albon for the first time, Red Bull, with two cars on the podium since Japan 2017. And a race where, well, we had early drama, we had late drama. Despite Lewis Hamilton saying that it was a difficult race from the outside, for him, it looked like no drama. Hamilton wins the Bahrain Grand Prix.